All right, and here we're doing 8Q transportation on vacation. This is by Milford, and 91% of the people like it. Uh, after a hard quarter in the office, we decide to get some rest on a vacation, so we book a flight uh, and try to leave all the mess behind us. We will need to rent a car in order. We will need a rental car in order to get around on vacation. The manager of the car rental place makes some good offers. Every day we rent the car costs forty dollars. If we rent the car for seven or more days, we get fifty dollars off our total. Alternately, if we rent the car for three or more days, we get twenty dollars off our total. Write the code that gives out the total amount for different days D right here. So this is just going to be a ternary operation. Uh, we're going to use the conditional or ternary operator. And it is the only JavaScript operator that takes three operands, a condition followed by a question mark, then, a, then an expression to execute if the condition is truthy, followed by a colon, and finally the expression to execute if the condition is falsy. This operator is frequently used as an alternative to an if-else statement, right? So here we go. Here's a, here it is. Return is member question mark. If they are, $2. If they aren't, $10. True, $2. Ah, false, $10. Null, which is also falsy, $10, all right? So we're not going to be doing that, but we'll be doing a, something that's very similar. So first off, we don't want to repeat ourselves, so we're going to say 40 times D, because no matter what, it's going to cost $40 a day. Every day we rent the car, costs 40 bucks, right? And so now we got to deal with these discounts. So we're going to say minus, and then we're going to put a little parentheses in here right there. And then we're going to say if D is greater than 6, because it's going to be seven or more days. So if D is greater than six, we're going to have, we're going to say p minus uh, 50, 50. And colon, and if D is greater than two, since it's three or more days, we're going to say 20, all right? And if, if it's anything else, we're going to say zero, all right? Let's test it out and see what happens. Ha, huh, you know why? Why is it undefined? Why is it always undefined? Because I always forget to say return. <laughs> yeah, look at there. Look at there. Awesome. Awesome. There we go. All right. And I very liked that one. We're going to see the solutions. Ah, just a few of us. I'm on the list this time. Best practice. And we'll see you next time.